Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Radio Link RC6 GS V2. We're going to find out how good it is. One thing I'm really looking forward to is the range test to see if we can actually get 600 meters because that's really going to come in handy for our project World's Fastest WL Toys 124019. Sneak peek! So, let's crack it open and find out what's in the box. Instruction manual, lanyard, receiver, a little battery meter switch thingy, and a controller. And of course, you'll need to supply your own double A's. Alternatively, you can use a 2 or 4S LiPo battery. That there is a little quarter inch mount where you can mount your phone if you want to do videos. It's one feature that's going to come in really handy. Okay guys, so there's channels out there that are going to go over a little bit more detail than I will, but let me just cover the basics. Alright, so this is your steering and your throttle that you can see. You can name your radio, which is pretty cool, I've got it at SimRC, uh, the voltage and the signal up there, and when you plug the battery in, that'll come up here too. Your steering wheel, which is a beautiful foam, you have your AVC, which is here, and you also have your steering and your throttle trim, and then these are your different channels as well, so you might be able to lock the diffs or change gears in like a crawler or something, so it is a, like a six six channel nearly a seven channel so this little button here and that i mainly only brought this to do speed runs i'm not going to cover every feature but let me show you a couple of basics menu so you can change the language you can do different models as you can see my model one is simrc but epi i don't know what that is uh, steering exponential steering speed throttle exponential and throttle speed now the steering and the throttle exponential is why I wanted this mainly for the steering exponential which is really handy for speed runs during high speeds of course if you remove the controller too much you got you might spin out and ABS so ABS is another one that I really want I have to work out how to use it properly uh, you have acceleration so forward and backwards um, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm sure you guys know what it is. But of course, guys, if you want to check out the technical specifications, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check those out and even where you can get it from. So sub trim, so you can set your reverse as well. Uh, like I had to set the throttle to reverse as it was going the other way. And yeah, you've got a bunch of different other modes, um, name, your alarm, and gyro. Gyro is one that I definitely wanted, which you can control by this little dial here. As you can see it goes up and down so that's going to really help us out when we're taking off to get that extra traction you have a couple of these things and you can reset it there's definitely a lot of features i mainly want to test out like response and of course the range the range is the biggest thing and of course here on the back you have auxiliary and you have your usb charger and you're on and off switch i don't know if you guys remember the traxxas slash that we're doing speed runs on uh it was a fake traxxas slash I ended up buying my friend's second hand slash and we bought the electronics and all that that he had and the chassis as well and then I've kind of combined all those to make one really good RC car and of course you guys know we're running those black XD90s now. So I've only just got this back on the road so I really want to give this a run. So I'm going to use this to test out the range and because it's also got a waterproof box I'm going to slip that in there. And of course you guys know we just got that new GPS so we're going to be able to see how far we really go. Guys in the hand I can already tell you this feels really really comfortable and it's got a little bit of extra weight to it which I kind of like. Uh, I don't like it when it's too light. I like to be able to feel the controller in my hand. It's kind of got like an old spectrum feel like, I guess if you know what I mean. Uh, I kind of got into RC racing like 10 years ago so the, the spectrum around there and I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about um, which I really like so it's, it kind of gives like a nostalgic kind of feel <laughs> but yeah this radio definitely goes hand-in-hand -hand competition with the Dumbo uh, I think this has probably got more range but it does cost a little bit more again links in the description below if you want to find that out and let me know guys do you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of this remote versus the Dumbo RC radio of course before we put the cover back on we need to give it a test run and now the ESC forward back oh this controller is really really touchy that's really awesome and let's test the steering but that's enough talking so let's get out there and give it a test Alrighty guys, we are out here. This is generally where I do most of my speed runs. It's a nice long straight road. This is where we're going to use the FlySky GPS to test the range on our RC6 GS V2. 
I've got my GoPro set up on the bottom and I'm ready to go. It's a nice day out, nice and cloudy, not too much sun. We're gonna send it down that way until I lose sight of it. And then I'm gonna try and get it off the road and then uh, go after it with my car. All right guys, so this is my setup at the moment. This is uh, on the slash. Uh, the GPS is just kind of sitting on the battery there, held on by a little bit of double side tape. And this is just my tripod where I'm just gonna sit my phone. All right guys, let's get into it. All right guys, let's switch on the controller. And now we do the uh, C car, of course. Okay, let's. It's really, really responsive. Very nice. And a good thing is, it's not too hot today. Uh, I have geared down the motor as it's been getting a little hot. But, anyways, guys, let's wait for this car to pass and let's see how far we get. And also, one thing I wanted to mention, guys, when your server's upside down like that, the, the gyro doesn't really work that well, it goes in the opposite direction. And also, if you want to turn the gyro on, you have to press the button in the middle of the antennas there. Alrighty, guys, I've got it set to miles and feet for my American folks. And uh, yeah, so let's hit track start. Let's see how far we go. Now, yeah, guys, I am kind of going slow. Okay, it's kind of at that range now where I can't hear it. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it. The steering's really touchy on this thing too. But I'm just gonna keep going until I can no longer see it. Just adjusting the steering there, it's a little off. Okay, I, I basically can't see it now. But I, okay, I can just I should have brought some binoculars. All right, I think it just spun around. All right, guys, I just set it off on the road. It was kind of getting hard to control at that distance. So let's see what we've done. Okay, guys, we actually need to go over to the car before we can read the data. So let's jump over there. Alrighty, here it is. All right, guys, here it is. Let's do some reads. What do we have? Okay, so let's just come back in a range. Hit stop, read. All right, we did 24 miles an hour, and it did 16 hundred feet away guys they actually recommend that you have one of the aerials bent out to the side a little bit but i've kind of just got them sitting here in this really small confined space with a little bit of heat tube on there we still got 1600 feet that is absolutely insane Guys, I am super impressed with the Radiolink RC6 GS V2. This thing is an absolute beast, absolutely incredible, and for the money, you cannot go wrong. Now, is it better than something like a Dumbo? I, I guess that's kind of subjective if it's better than a Dumbo or not, because a Dumbo is really, really great for range, it has a gyro, and it costs about half the price. However, it doesn't have the features like ABS and stuff like that. Um, I'd have to really look into the Dumbo. Uh, maybe I might even get one, do a bit of a comparison. Let me know if that's actually something that you guys want to see. But the Radiolink RC6 GS V2 has to be the best features, bang for buck, distance radio that there is, especially for you speed run guys. And even for bashers, you know, these receivers are super cheap. I think they're like, what, $20 maybe? So you can put them in all your RC cars. You can have up to, I believe, 20 models. Just a really good option if you want a remote for all your RC cars. I think this is definitely going to be the remote that I'm going to be sticking with. And a little quick message to Radio Link. If you guys make a V3, definitely hit me up. I would love to review it. For some reason, if Radio Link, you're watching this, my business email is in my about section. So, so hit me up. Also, guys, we hit. 3,000 subscribers. That is absolutely incredible. I have every single one of you 3,000 people to thank for that. Um, if it wasn't for you 3,000, it'd still be on zero. So. <laughs> 2021, man. I said it was going to be an amazing year. 
and I think I'm right. We have some RC cars on the way, we have some more projects, some more experiments, heaps of awesome things coming. Make sure to stay tuned to that guys and if you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe, I really do appreciate it. If you want to stay notified when I do upload, which that's going to be more frequently from now on, then make sure to hit that notification bell. Anyways guys, that is it for this video, I will catch you in the next one, peace out, bye! And now I've got to do a walk of shame because I flipped it all the way over at the end. Good job, me. Alrighty, here we are. Flip back over and away we go. If you haven't already, hit one of these videos. You'll love them. Do it. You know you want to.